Hello and welcome to Simon Tech Notes. My name is Christian and I'm part of the technical support team here. In this video, we will be going over Modbus Slave, RTU, and TCP in relation to the Simon PLC. For starters, I'm going to open up the Simon software called Psycon, and this is the universal software for all Simon PLC families. After I've developed my project, I'm going to go into the project tree and navigate to PLC parameter, and then I'll notice that there are four different tabs that I need to pay attention to here. Channel one will be for RS-232. You should go ahead and set the COM parameters if you're going to use this type of communication. Channel two will be RS-422 or 485. Same logic applies. You want to set the COM parameters only. Then for Ethernet, you will set the IP address, subnet, or gateway if you're going to be doing Modbus TCP. And then the Modbus slave tab will be the last tab that you pay attention to. This is where you will declare your station number. And then you'll notice that by default, my Y's map onto my zeros, my X's map onto my tens, my D's map onto forties, and then my M's map onto my thirties. So for starters, the Y's mapping onto your zeros looks like there's an offset of one. It looks like there's an offset going all the way down of just one. But I'm gonna pull up this um, Modbus mapping address table that can be found in our help file. If you type in Modbus and then go to Modbus protocol service, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see this very helpful table. I'm gonna help you understand that it's not just an offset of one after you get past the first word. So you're not lost and confused why certain addresses aren't registering. So we do a little bit of hexadecimal addressing. So for 10, we do A all the way up to F being 15, and then we reset back to zero. So this offset of six can be a little confusing when you do Modbus addressing bitwise. So your intuition would tell you that Y13 would probably map to 00014, but then you would be wrong in this big case because there's an offset of six before you get there. So the way to overcome this is to just multiply the value of the word, so the one in this case, by 16, add the three, and then add a one. So 16 plus three plus one is 20. And then that's how I would get my offset uh, handled without having to think too hard about this situation. And that works for any address that you're looking at with Y's and X's, preferably looking at your zeros and your, on your tens. Now, when you jump into the 40s and 30s, it's a little bit more of a direct association. So it's a little bit easier when you're doing the addressing. So D's literally just map one to one, but with an offset of one. So D00 maps to 40,001 and then so forth all the way down to the max. So it's just an offset of one for each register. The same can be said about your M's. You just have to set, uh, put a zero at the end of the register and then that will declare the word form of that register. So if I target 30,008, that means I'm looking at the register M70, the word. And notice how it's just an offset of one. So seven maps to eight, eight maps to nine, nine maps to 10 and so forth. And then this table, once again, can be found in our help file. You just type in Modbus and it's under Modbus protocol service. Now there's one more tip I wanna give you before I leave you. That is targeting the bitwise of the words. So if I wanted to target the third bit of a D register, I would append the register 40,002, for example, with a dot three. That means I would be targeting the third bit of D0001. If I wanted to target the third bit of M30, I would just do 30,004 bit three. So dot three, and then I would be targeting the third bit of M30. And that, in a nutshell, is how you do Modbus slave addressing with the Simon PLC. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.